Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WPAlgorithm.com and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to generate SSH keys on your Mac or basically any computer. With Windows, you can do it using Git Bash and how to authenticate using SSH and create WordPress droplet on DigitalOcean. It's quite simple. Follow this tutorial step by step. Let's get started. Now, if you're new to DigitalOcean, you can click on the link in the description and get a $100 joining credit. Use my link and get $100 credit. If you're already signed up, well, let's get started with the tutorial. Now open terminal app on your Mac. If it's not already open, you can just use Spotlight to open it up. Now, if it's already open, just quit it and open it again, just to make sure that it's on the root document folder. And once you do that, just type SSH hyphen keygen and hit enter. Now that will give you a message saying that generating public private RSS key pair. Now, if this is your first time doing, you can simply hit enter. Or if you want a custom name for your private key or public key, you can give a name, right? Maybe I'll just call it my key or digital ocean key or whatever, right? Or I can call it cute key, right? Just give it a name. If you don't give it a name, the default name will be ID underscore RSA for your private key and id underscore rsa dot pub for your public key. I'll just give it a cute name. It'll ask for a passphrase. This is to encrypt your private key so that you can only show the private key when you enter this password. Just hit enter. Hit enter to leave it blank. And now it has generated the key pair. Now when you leave it blank and hit enter, instead of giving it a custom name, all the data or all the keys which are id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub are stored in a folder called dot ssh. It will also give you a message saying that dot ssh directory has been created. Now since I already have the directory, it didn't give me that message. Also if you don't enter anything custom and if you do it the second time, it will ask you if, it, if you want to override it. Never do that because you might be using that key somewhere else. Okay, essentially what I mean is when you do it for the first time, you can type SSH keygen, just hit enter and just hit enter again for the file name and for the passphrase hit enter and hit enter again for the passphrase. That will create keys and that will also create a folder called .ssh, right? Let me just leave it blank and hit enter. It's it's telling me that this already exists and if I actually want to override it, I don't want to override it. so. I just hit N. All right. Now it's back to normal. So I just do that again. So how do I do that? Or how do I check the keys which are already generated? So if you've done it just once, you should just type cd.ssh and that will go into SSH folder. If the key gen pair is successfully created, you can just do ls. And that will show you all the keys. Now I have a couple of keys and there's a config file, whatever, right? So you have id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub. Now, if I want to generate a new key, maybe for another droplet, or if I want to do another key pair for another application, how do I do that? Well, you first get into ssh dot ssh folder by using this command cd and dot ssh. All this code will be linked in an article down below. You can copy and paste all this code. So if this is your second time, just put CD and once you're in this SSH folder, just use the same command, which is CD hyphen keygen. Now give it a name. I'll call it cool key and hit enter. Empty passphrase and it'll generate new key pair and I can actually look it up you can see that coolkey.pub and coolkey are also added in .ssh folder. But if this is your first time doing it, like I, sh like I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial, just hit blank every time and your keys will be saved as id underscore rsa, which is your private key and id underscore rsa dot public, which is your public key. Okay, how do I know which folder I'm in? If you look at the top of the terminal window it gives you the name of the folder that you're currently in if you want to move one step forward just type cd space dot dot and hit return or enter and that will take you a one level above the current folder 
now we're back in the normal root folder which is king karthik which is the username that i have right now if you want to get back into the dot ssh folder again use the same command cd this character forward slash dot ssh sorry about the caps lock and just hit enter now we are in the ssh folder you can do ls to list all the keys that you've generated till date since you're doing it for the first time you'll just have id underscore rsa id underscore rsa dot pub but we just need id underscore rsa dot pubs content because we need to copy that content and put it in DigitalOcean. how do we do that we use another command called pb copy that will basically copy the content of this file to the clipboard so we can simply paste it or command v or control v on it right pb copy less than this character again dot ssh again you can find all this linked in the article down below don't worry forward slash and since you're doing it for the first time you need to type id underscore rsa dot pub that will copy the contents of your newly generated key into this and if you have a custom key like i do you need to type the name of the custom key which in this case is cool key dot pub all right so that will copy it to the clipboard now we're good to go now we're good to go we can open up digital ocean and complete the droplet installation process and always make sure whenever you're creating new keys or overwriting existing ones make sure that you're doing it in dot ssh folder so if you're creating new key always make sure that you type this command first so that you're in dot ssh folder and then use ssh hyphen keygen and you give another name for your new key like maybe cool key great key or any anything that you can remember so that will create another new pair don't override key pairs because if you override them you'll lose existing access to existing applications so that's a big mess up never overwrite existing keys and that is the reason why i didn't overwrite existing keys because i've been using the existing keys somewhere else i'll do this command once again we'll do pb copy less than symbol space this character forward slash dot ssh forward slash and for you this will be id underscore rsa since you're copying the newly generated key but for me i'm copying a new key right so it will be this for me id underscore rsa dot pub for you and just hit enter that will be copied to the clipboard now let's head to DigitalOcean and create a droplet and authenticate it using our ssh thing now just go to your folder in DigitalOcean, click on create droplet and we're going to create a wordpress droplet because you can create any droplet choose marketplace now i'm not going to show you how to connect a domain in this video if you want that i'll leave a link to the tutorial where i showed you everything on how to create a complete website on DigitalOcean from the scratch you can apply this ssh technique to that and create instead of using the root password authentication so let me type wordpress and uh, i'll just pick open lightspeed wordpress this i picked this uh, let me pick this one you can pick anything else pick a condition and this is where you add ssh keys so i'll just put in a new key right since we've copied that you can simply paste it and all of the key content is pasted in here give it a name i'll just call it cool key right just for your reference add ssh key now you just need to copy the public key private key be, will be automatically checked and you'll automatically be authenticated you don't have to enter any password or anything this is all at automatic right okay so uh, yeah we chose this and ssh we just pasted our ssh key into this you can enable backups and all that stuff give it a name i'll just call it test the demo i'll just click on create droplet that will create a droplet so it's just doing the droplet i'll give it more time now if you followed my tutorial step by step everything should be really smooth right you can copy this ip address and in your mac terminal you can type ssh root at the rate this ip address paste it and hit enter that should authenticate you automatically by checking your public key and the private key or you can click on the ellipsis button click on access console right 
it'll ask you to log in as root click on launch droplet console and you can see that everything is automatic i'm not doing anything it's automatically checking my public key with my private key and it's automatically just doing all that right so yeah just enter your domain right connect it and do all the installation stuff this is how you do ssh on your mac you can also do the similar thing on windows but i think you need git bash but with windows 11 i think you get a terminal app or something but yeah the process is similar and this is how you do a digital ocean wordpress droplet using ssh key that's it for this video if you have any questions any doubts leave them in the comments down below if something goes wrong if something is not working properly that means that you have done something wrong comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you that's it for now see you in the next one check out the description for more bye bye